Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time that you'll be watching this video. Welcome back to Mihesu's World, guys. Thank you for coming back. And for new subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming on board. Um, let me try to look at the camera and not that the screen. Uh, new subscribers, thank you so much for uh, subscribing and my regular, uh, my day one subscribers. I love you guys so much. Love you, love you, love you, love you. That love heart, yes. I love you so much. Uh, thank you for always watching my videos. And yeah, let's get straight into today's video. <laughs> So, hmm, my guys, uh, as you've seen as I'm really trying to look at the camera. Focus, Tracy, focus. So, my guys, hmm, uh, as you've seen as far the title, uh, today I'm going to be telling you guys some of the culture shock uh, that I got when I got to um australia as me as a 20 something year old girl born and raised in kenya for the 20 something years and coming to a different country and seeing like um things like uh, done differently um was a bit like shocking it wasn't like oh like shocking but it was like hmm like you get it you get it okay so on to like my first point um the first culture shock um that i got is that guys you already know i wrote like some points so that my scatter brain doesn't like go all over the place okay so like if you see me like looking down just like understand uh so um my first uh culture shock was like um the um, the way like people cross the roads here so like um what i mean is like guys my kenyans you already know um that like um at home like even what we are taught in school is that always look right look left then like look right again if the road is clear pew, pew, pew. okay not pew, 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 run but like uh you can now cross so like uh what i found different here is that like um, when you have to cross the road here there's like um there's like uh these poles on the road like they have like a round um sort of button it's like this big like maybe the size of the palm of my hand or smaller so like the button is like this big so like you have to press that button and when you press it um on the other side of the road uh where there's like the traffic lights thing um it will like turn like when it's red like there's a red person on that traffic light red person okay not technically but like a red like um where am i looking at uh like the red um thing i'll try put like a, a video of me crossing the road or like a picture of what i mean so like you have to press this button and on, on the other side of the road there's you, you see that person on the traffic lights so like if it's red of course you stop then when it um it goes green then you can now cross the road and the thing goes like do, 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 do. <laughs> the thing goes like do, 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 do. 
then now you know it's time to cross and then you cross so that was like okay it was not kind of new it was so new because like home like you don't cross the road like that uh-huh so like the second thing that um uh shocked me actually like this one like really like it shocked me to be honest is like um when you go to the supermarkets um and like you you bought your things and everything and now like you want to go and pay so like how you pay hmm, guys i don't know if i have a clip of me like shopping and everything so when you when you want to pay you go to a self checkout okay you go to a self checkout uh, uh station and like you just put the things you scan you scan then after scanning you put it on this other side and like just like that and then after that you like either pay with cash or like card like i've never paid with cash so i don't really know how that works but like with the card you just tap your card and like put your shopping in the trolley and you're good to go my kenyans you know this one this one why it cannot happen because we like free things uh-huh this one cannot happen in kenya because um okay i'm not saying like kenyans are not like this plain but let's be honest guys can this happen in kenya leave down a comment can this really happen in kenya like you just go to naivas for example and like you buy your things you self check out who who you go and no one is looking like uh if you paid or anything but okay but there are cameras on the screen that will see maybe if you if you paid or something i don't know but there are cameras on the screen so like in kenya i don't think this can happen don't come for me but like if you feel like it can happen leave down a comment so um the other thing is that guys like um you know like in kenya there are like security guards like i don't want to like say watchmen but like the security guards in like malls uh banks and like literally like every building in kenya has like a security guard like in the cbd so like here i realized that there are no security guards like for real like um when you go to uh, maybe the banks like there's no one standing at the door like a security guard or like anything like for real i think the only security guards i've seen are like at my workplace where i work currently and mm, that was a bit weird and off for me because like then like literally literally there are no like security guards at like malls build like banks like there's there's none of that there is nothing um so the other um thing was um at at work so like um so like um in my current place of work like uh people like call each other like pet names because like the first time i was like there and love some of us was like hey love and i was like I'm, I'm, i'm like okay i'm like looking i'm like is it me or like is it someone else and it's like it's normal like it's normal for them to like um call each other uh pet names at work like someone just calls you love darling honey like and that was like weird like it's weird for me but i also like experienced this like um Uh, somewhere at some other place of work where i was working outside and just like a random person was like uh thanks darling and it's just like oh like you know it's just like oh that's sweet but but yeah that's 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 that like this one is like it was it's kind of weird because like kenya like 
I think even pet names are like forbidden or something. But here it's normal. Like okay, in my place where I'm working, it's no, it's like really, really, really like normal to them. And guys, on to the other thing. Now, now this one, like I think this one got me like, oh, like, ah, uh, like shocked, shocked, shocked. Like this one is that like, guys, you know, like um. In back home in Kenya like uh, shops shops and like malls they like can go like they're open for like long hours right but here yeah, it shocked me that like by 5 p.m. guys if you've not done your shopping just and you have no food at home just know like that night you're sleeping hungry because the sh malls here close at 5 p.m. believe it or not they close at 5 p.m. and I was like don't these people like want money or like I, I don't understand but like I honestly I don't get it I do not get it but I think there are like a few places like maybe um, maybe like mcdonald's shops that go for like 24 hours but like if it's in the malls like the ones that i've been in like malls close at 5 p.m so it's not even a joke 5 p.m aya hey aya another thing guys that i don't think we soon can ever and will ever 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 happen in kenya is that like mm, uh, at the petrol station when you go to fuel in kenya we have like um fuel attendants who like you you roll in i was about to say rolling okay i think so you uh roll into the petrol station with your car and like there's someone standing there ready to like fuel for you your car but here like you go to the petrol station you come out of your car you put like the i don't the amount of liters that you want and you start fueling and after fueling you go inside the because um, they're like this like mini shops in the petrol station you go inside and pay you say like which number because the this um what are, i don't know what they're called like this petrol is it in here guys for lack of a better word like this boxes in easy corner petrol like they have numbers each one of them so like you go inside the shop and tell the person like numbers number seven so i think there's a computer something that shows how much you put and like you pay and i'm like for real like <laughs> in kenya so quickly i don't think it can happen because someone can just like be on be on uh america my damage just a tank who you amen but i i don't know but i love you of course i love you my kenyans but i don't think this one can ever happen to be honest because that come like on a mafta any like lorries are mafta's government if people are quick to like go and fetch them the petrol and everything and here like it's like you have a chance to sort of escape but like here people just like they pay for real like people where they leave their car and they go inside the shop and they pay yeah okay that was uh, that, that was shocking so i've seen it in movies but i didn't really think it happens but it it actually happens it actually does and uh huh on to uh and my other point is like um the the first time that i actually was on road um here in australia was when i was from um the person who was hosting me then picked me from the airport and god help these people drive here 
what it's crazy like like people go so fast like so 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 fast so fast and it's like yes there are like speed limits which i've seen like uh 110 and maybe like school zones maybe like 30 40 but like it was crazy for me because like okay i know kenyan driving is a bit uh chaotic okay but it, i won't use here the word chaotic but like people drive so fast and onto that on the same point on driving i'll talk about the roads what like culture shock like it's like the roundabouts here like guys i hope i find like a picture of an example of a roundabout in australia and compare the roundabouts that we have in kenya so these are the roundabouts we have in australia and these are the roundabouts that we have in kenya so in australia like these roundabouts are just like it's like a line to be honest it's like a line drawn with like i think paint or something and like there's nothing on top and it was just weird for me because like kenyans we have like this roundabouts huge roundabouts and uh, there's like something like the lines that they had put somewhere if you know you know the lines that they had put somewhere and like that was shocking and like another thing on the still on the roads is like there are no bumps on these australian roads like for real like i think i've seen very few uh bumps which are like inside roads in like um residential areas but any other roads like there are no bumps like you can they're like they're countable which was a bit shocking for me because kenyan but kenyan uh because kenya we have like bumps on the road you know it's just like <laughs> that was weird so yeah my last point this one um i don't know if it's really like a culture shock because it doesn't really like involve the australians but um this one is like when i when i was from when i was okay wait guys you get it when i came from kenya and i came to australia i was like um thinking and sorry my numerous alarms and i was from kenya um i thought like i'll come here and meet my fellow kenyans and like you know we form this like family and like we go places together you know because like we are from kenya of course we miss home and like we just want to give each other the home vibe you get but the shock that brought me you went there <laughs> the shock that got me when i came here and only to find out that kenyans here like we are not united like for real for real it's like and this i'm saying because i've seen it by myself and i've also been told by my few kenyan friends that i have uh about it who have been here for like maybe 10 years like yeah so it's like we are not united to be honest like it's like we are competing with with each other which is really 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 unhealthy and it's like people want to corner like uh jealousy towards each other or like i don't really understand it up to now and it's just like it's sad to be honest it's sad it's it's really sad but i don't know maybe things will change maybe i'm the one to start making the change but like so far like that has been it like there's no unity like but people from like other countries or like even other african countries like ghana like nigeria like especially Ghanaians, like they usually like so united like even like when working like you can just see like 
um, if someone else is from Ghana and then someone else new comes in that and they're from Ghana like you can just see like the unity to be honest you see the unity and it's just like it's amazing but like for Kenyans like even most of them don't want to like be talking to you like you're from Kenya ah like your story in a cut to show up like akuna yo but you see you want to perform bond once you see you kind of places and just like it's sad it's actually really sad so guys uh that has been my um, uh shocks that i experienced um in my one year that i have been here and yeah if you like uh the video kindly like share and don't forget to subscribe i really appreciate you guys for supporting me throughout my journey in youtube yes i'm really grateful and i appreciate you guys so much so don't forget to subscribe help me grow help me get 2000 subscribers and i love you guys so much see you on the next one bye